Hey YouTube, Wheelie Man here. Wanted to give you guys an update on the newest Tesla software update. We've got firmware number 2021.4.18 and uh, they have seen some pretty minor improvements, uh, but there has been big upgrades to the display uh, as far as visualizations is concerned, uh, how they actually display, how the lights are just more crisp, how the uh, the vehicle itself, you can actually see the um, MCU screen on the inside uh, on the uh, white Tesla here. And overall, visualizations are just a lot smoother. Autopilot, it does seem to be a little less bouncy, especially on highway on-ramps. Lane changes seem to be a bit smoother. Again, I think this... According to Elon, this may be running the latest uh, no radar, um, but <clears throat> that's yet to be confirmed, I, I believe. Comment down below if you know if 2021.4.18 uh, is running uh, with no radar, just full pure, pure Tesla vision. So anyway, um, as you can see, how just how clean and smooth the, uh, the visuals are on the visualization screen. The vehicles, they render really nice. There's not a lot of jitteriness to them like there used to be before, although that one just disappeared. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, the lights are super bright. Everything just seems to be really, really kind of more polished, uh, more complete uh, from a rendering standpoint. So we just got a quick trip today. We're gonna be heading to uh, the physical therapy office I have some issues with the rotator cuff, so we're gonna go get that dialed in. And here we go. So yeah, so it's taking the turn. Nice and smooth, very, very smooth turn. Um, speed was really good, and it already switched over to 70 miles an hour. Excuse me, now before this update, it definitely did not do that. Um, I think it would hold like 35 or 45 right here the whole time. So we'll go ahead and come up to this. Perfect. And red light and green light. Okay, I'm gonna press that green light since we passed it up. I'll turn autopilot back on. And we'll just cruise away. So you can see uh, visualization standpoint, rendering a little smoother. Um, normally it's pretty bouncy in this lane right here as it as it widens and gets narrower so you see right now we've got the arrow line so it's kind of showing that it's gonna be a little and that was perfectly smooth i think when there's a lead car it shows up a lot you know it it, it navigates a lot better when there's a lead car because it knows a, a path to follow versus having to find its own So merging over, again, this is all Tesla. I'm gonna put the follow distance a little further back to seven. And of course it got over to a lane that was stopped. I'm assuming it's trying to get over to the carpool lane. You can see the vehicles uh, on the screen displaying for compared to the vehicles in person. It's just a lot more smooth, a lot more seamless. I said a lot less jittery. So again, this is not the FSD beta. This is uh, the FSD non-beta, which hopefully will get a version 9.0 release within the next four weeks. Fingers crossed. But yeah, so far, really smooth. I really like the upgrades to the visualizations and the display. And I have noticed with this version, uh, some areas previously on other software versions where I would experience some phantom braking. 
And with this version, I have not experienced that in those areas. So that does seem to be improved as well. This is a nice test as we got some traffic. I don't think there was many other changes in this firmware. It was just minor bugs and fixes. Check the release notes real quick. Yeah, so for 2024, sorry, 2021.4.18, minor fixes. That may just be the visualization. You can see here we're kind of jam-packed in traffic and all the vehicles are rendering nice and smoothly, complete. Whereas before, this was not really the case. So we are making our way, slow and steady, 30 miles an hour. Tesla initiated the lane change, part of Navigate on Autopilot. So this is part of that, <clears throat> excuse me, this is part of that full self-driving um, upgrade that you pay for. You get the Navigate on Autopilot feature. It'll change lanes for you. So we've got a bag on the road here. Let's see what it does with that. Didn't. I didn't see anything show up on the visualization as far as that bag was concerned, but maybe it just doesn't render that yet. Got a speed limit sign over there, 55. That was read by the, the cameras. Tesla is initiating the lane change. We have about three miles before our exit. Now I do have enable carpool access, but I think because the ex I, I've noticed that in, within the more recent updates, Tesla is now being a lot more conservative when it comes to exiting the fast lane to take your exit, meaning they're initiating that, that sequence from the fast lane to the exit lane much earlier in the process, even you know three, three miles or so um, sooner than the exit. And I, I think that has a lot to do with, I know an early autopilot it would just completely miss the exit. Um, but they seem to solve that by adding in a, a nice cushion of when to get over. And I think a lot of it has to do now with just the, there just being a ton of traffic. You can see our exit is 2.2 miles away and we're already getting into the slow lane. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Whereas before, um, it seemed like it would initiate the lane changes on the very first version of navigate on autopilot it would finally attempt to get over to the exit lane within a mile maybe half a mile of the exit and, and there was just not enough time and you did end up missing the exit a lot in the first few iterations of navigate on autopilot but this this is pretty seamless i don't mind that it gets over a little early i'd rather not miss the exit and spend a few extra seconds 
it takes me a few extra seconds to get to my destination, I'm not gonna have an issue with that. Go Model X. Old school S right there. So are you guys ready for the Cybertruck? I think I'm gonna have to get one of those. I won't get rid of this. I'll keep this, but I think I'll definitely... Ah, uh, who knows, I might trade this in. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna hold more people. Not necessarily faster in a straight line. It'll be just about as fast, I guess I should say, but have a lot more range. And be a able to hold six people comfortably and a little bit more utilitarian with the bed so you can see those arrows in the lane next to me that's just letting me know that it's it's pacing the lane next to me to try to try to maintain a, a more average speed compared to that and here we are initiating the exit and we're about to be ending navigate on autopilot here in just a few seconds. Stopping for traffic control. There we go. And that was it. So overall, uh, definitely much improved on the smoothness and steadiness of the autopilot on freeway. And the visualizations have been drastically improved on the driver visualization so thanks again for watching everybody uh, please like subscribe and see you in the next video take care everyone